too much. Sitting is the new smoking. Getting people to move during the day is like getting people to quit smoking. So here's your typical weekday. We sit while commuting to work, we sit at work all day long, we sit commuting home, sit down to dinner, then TV, then computer time, then maybe more sleep. That's up to 22 and a half hours of inactivity. And if we're lucky, we get one hour to exercise. We're so used to sitting at our desks all day at work that we even sit after work hours at the gym. The most popular fitness activity at the gym is spinning. We're just addicted to sitting. On a personal level, I'm a devout non-smoker, having come from a family of smokers. My father got his first of two heart attacks at the age of 47, a direct result of smoking. My mother, who although quit smoking around the time of my father's heart attack, got neck cancer. 85% of neck cancers are linked to smoking, and my mother was one of those 85%. I spent over 10 years in tobacco control research. I was a postdoctoral fellow with the National Cancer Institute of Canada, and I researched the effects of smoking on health and factors influencing smoking and quitting. Last year was a major transition in my life. I turned 50, and I moved from Toronto, Canada to Washington, DC. America, the land of opportunity, hard work, and sitting, and that's what I did. I sat and I worked, and as my business grew, so did my waistline, and as my business got healthier, I got unhealthier from chronic sitting and moving much less during the workday than I was used to. And then I realized that the effects of chronic sitting are no different than the effects of smoking. Sitting is as hazardous to our health as smoking and can kill. And that's what I'm here to talk about. Let's start with the three myths of sedentary behavior. Myth number one, sleeping is a sedentary activity. Sleeping is actually restorative, and it's vital for our health. It's vital for learning, memory, and overall vitality. It keeps us energized during the day. Myth number two, people who work in offices keep busy, and therefore don't sit much. They spend 75% of their working hours seated. That's over 75,000 hours sitting in a working lifetime, equivalent to seven years of your life. Myth number three, people who exercise don't have to worry about how much time they spend sitting. We all need to worry. People who sit more than six hours a day are 18% more likely to die prematurely than people who sit for less than three hours a day. The health hazards, breast, endometrial, colon cancer, heart disease and stroke, type 2 diabetes and obesity, chronic kidney disease, DVT, deep vein thrombosis. And there's muscular skeletal problems, muscle stiffness and pain, back and neck pain, and poor posture. So if you see people walking hunched over like this during the workday, it's probably because they spend much of their day like this, hunched over at their desks. And then there's fatigue, reduced alertness and concentration, and low energy. But I'm not here just to talk about the problems. Let's talk about some solutions. There's three solutions, starting with solution number one. Get up, stand up, move more and move often. Take a time out. Practice some fitness micro breaks throughout the day, ideally every hour. I take all my phone calls standing up, and I have walk and talk meetings. Solution number two, beware of that chair. Do some desk exercises, and if you're gonna sit in your chair all day long, why not do some chair abs like this? Everyone join in. <laughs> we're working our obliques while we're working at the desk. And solution number three, consider a stand-up desk. If you wanna keep your furniture, try a partial or add-on desk. If you wanna replace your furniture, try a full sit-to-stand desk. It is like the cross fitness of furniture. My vision is a beware of the chair movement sweeping across America where we work and where we play. I've even discovered how to mix a margarita on an exercise bike. Now wouldn't it be neat if we had chair free spaces and designated standing sections? Everyone please stand up. Stand up. Congratulations. Give yourselves a hand. Look at this, a standing ovation. 
let's all take a stand against sitting and combat sitting disease. The new public health epidemic of the 21st century. Thank you.